guys my name is Kauto and welcome to another tutorial in this case you want to change a cut file to a string file or a string file or a DTM which is produced by a CPAC into a DXF or a, DW, a DXF or a DWG file but when you want to change a cut file into a string uh, file first you open the cut file then you make sure you save it as a DXF so in uh, me I like to use two, uh, 2007 DXF uh, format so save it as you can see this is our saved DXF file so from there I can close here it's from from here I can close here now I can go to CPAC then navigate to the working directory then I'll just drag the uh, DXF file into CPAC. Make sure that uh, the file, the folder that you are working on in, or the folder that is your your data, is the working directory. So after dragging, you just wait for it to load. It might take some few minutes depending on how big your data is. So this is, uh, so this is the DXF. As you can see, it has the extension DXF here. So what you just need to do is just to press save. You can give it a name, let's say 101 here. I want it to be a string, or you can choose whatever you want. So I want it to be a string, uh, a CPAC string. I could have used the uh, other formats, but I want it as a CPAC string. So you just press apply. Then, as you can see in this directory, we now have it here, uh, the 101 so let me minimize this you can actually see here this is the the file that we have created so we have uh, managed to create a uh, from a dxf into a string file so now doing vice versa again let me open this you can now res uh, restart this reset this sorry you can reset your graphics so from here you just drag that you have this string file you might want to change the string file you just go to file then you say export export the string file as a dxf then uh, locate the file that you want to change this is the file that i want to change so i'll just open it then i'll press apply don't change anything here just say apply so if i minimize here uh, for now it's loading uh, after it finishes loading should see the DXA file here and you're done so sometimes other guys some people or some in some cases you want to change a DTM into a string file again you just create let me just create a DTM for those who don't know how to create a DTM you just uh, watch some previous videos we did uh, a video on how to create a DTM so yeah, this is the DTM that we have. We need to save it so that we have a DTM here. So you just play, uh, press apply. Let me say it 102 so that we see the difference. So after creating the DTM, let me minimize. Here we go. Now we have a DTM in here. So we can uh, restart, uh, reset, doesn't matter. So just go to file, export, export DTM. So sometimes it takes a while depending on the density of the things that you are doing okay you navigate to the DTM again this is our DTM you press open one or two then you just say apply so after it finishes uh, processing you will see again the DTM uh, this one applying here uh, uh, showing here so you can actually check the two let me just double click so that we can view them on six say in AutoCAD. Sorry. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me zoom to the extent. Uh, this is our DTM that we have changed into a CAD file. If you want, you can change the view to 3D uh, basic so that you can see how it reacts. So from there, you can now change uh, from the wireframe. So let me close this you can now change to conceptual or realistic view because right now it was showing your wireframe 
so this is how it looks like you can now change the color of the it's up to you so again thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe